It's difficult to understand what you guys are saying and what the context is. I don't know if you guys want to talk about something for a little bit. I'm willing. I thought I'd explain it. Um, you think that there can't be rationality if everything is molecules in motion, correct? Oh, you're dealing with the issue of uh, materialism. And it is difficult for a materialist to justify logic if materialism is true, since it implies the physical brain is limited to the laws of chemistry. How then does one chemical state leading to another chemical state produce proper logical inference? Those are the questions. Yeah. Not, can you tell us what so you're saying is it? You're saying it's difficult, or you can't have rationality. Um, difficult question to answer. If you can't have rationality, because chemical reactions can produce some form of rationality, but is it ultimately correct or not? In order to know if it's ultimately correct or not, you have to have transcendentals, by which you can then assert that certain values are true and that they have logical inference. All right. Well, if you're not disputing that there can be rationality if everything's molecules in motion, then there's nothing to talk about there. No, you understand. Are you making that claim? You, you understand what I'm saying. Rationality is based on the laws of logic, which are transcendental necessities. How then does materialism support or vindicate the idea of transcendental necessities and by which you can then have rational discourse? Can it be the case that there is a brain that is limited to the laws of chemistry that can accidentally produce something rational, but you wouldn't know if it's producing something rational from its own perspective. Therefore, materialism is self-refuting. You'd have to leave that materialistic view and go out to something dealing with uh, transcendentals, nominalism. But that's an external critique, Matt. No, it's not. You're saying the problem with materialism is that it's not, it doesn't have some sort of non-material. Okay. It's an external critique. How is it an external critique? Because under materialism, there is none of that. Okay. So how is it an external critique? Yeah, because under materialism, there isn't that transcendental stuff. I get that. How is it an external critique? Because under materialism, there is no transcendental stuff. Okay. I guess you are not up on the issues or the logic. Repeating yourself. You haven't demonstrated how it's an external critique. Because what did I say? Well, in order for it to be an internal critique, you have to assess materialism on its own terms. And on its own terms, it's going to be matter in motion. So for you to make the objection that under materialism, there isn't non-material stuff is an external critique. I guess you weren't listening. What I stated was that a materialistic worldview uh, dealing with this issue of the physical brain, one chemical state that leads to another chemical state, how does it produce proper logical inference? How would you know? From within its own view, view you would not be able to know because it's just chemical necessity, therefore it refutes itself. That's just that simple. If, however, you want to demonstrate that such a conclusion of a physical brain is actually uh, correct, you'd have to leave that worldview, that position, and adopt transcendentals, by which you can then ascertain whether or not the, the uh, solutions are correct or not. Okay, so there's two issues on the board. One is whether or not it can be the case that there's rationality under materialism. And the second issue that you brought up is whether or not we can know if something's right. So let's take them one at a time. The second objection is an epistemic concern. I'm not concerned with that one right now. I'm merely concerned about whether or not you think that there can be rationality under materialism, yes or no. Uh, can't justify materialism in, uh, excuse me, rationality in materialism. That seems to be that you're talking about the second question, because justification is going to be about like an epistemological concern. I'm just wondering if it can be the case that there can be rationality under materialism, whether or not you can justify it, confirm it, know that you have it. I don't care about that right now. I need to understand what you're saying 
Are you saying that there can be rationality under materialism? Yes or no? Materialism? Of course not. Okay, so you cannot have rationality under materialism. Is I, you kind of cut out in the at the beginning, but is that correct? Correct. Strict materialism. You cannot have rationality. Okay, and what's the argument for that? Because materialism would state then that there are no universals, and materialism would state that all things operate under the laws of chemistry. So then all you would have, in the brain that is, and all you would have is chemical reactions. So rationality can't be determined, can't be known, can't be anything, wouldn't exist. But what you just described was matter in motion. And my question is, under the hypothesis, this brain stuff is matter in motion, what's the argument that it can't be rational. And to answer that, you just described matter in motion. I'm asking for the argument why matter in motion can't create rationality. That's all it is, you wouldn't know. See, the problem here is that in order to know, you have to leave materialism thing. One chemical state at least, another chemical state in the brain, it's just chemical necessity. That's not rationality. It'll never be rationality. You have a complex brain. It just has chemical necessary reactions. That's all it is. Is that rationality is not rationality. In a material worldview, there is no rationality. There's only chemical, physical necessity. That's all. You don't have rationality. But rationality is based upon universals, the laws of logic. You don't have those in material world, do you? So no, there's no rationality in pure materialism. Okay. Um, you started off by saying you wouldn't know, and I thought I was very clear that I'm not talking about epistemology right now. I don't care about you knowing. I'm just talking about an analysis of whether or not there can be rationality. So. I just want you to make a note. I, I allowed you to finish even though I had an objection from the very beginning, right? I did not interrupt you, okay? Now, um, I have a second line. Let, let, me, let, me try and, um, let me try a different approach. Do you think that a calculator, when it operates, is matter in motion? Yeah. And a calculator works on logic gates, correct? By intelligently designed system, yes. Okay. So when a calculator operates, can it produce rationality? No. So when it says, when you put in 2 plus 2 equals 4, that's not rational? Define rational and rationality. Consistent with logic. I'm sorry? Consistent with logic? with logic yep that's it that's what your definition is of, of rationality that's good enough for this purpose yeah hmm. so rationality is just consistent with logic so is your definition? we can just use that i mean like i could i mean it's not very rigorous but it's good enough for this oh it is yep. all right so you don't know what rationality is you're just saying it's consistent with something that's rational right Rationale would be consistent with the laws of logic. Okay. Something so that's irrational that, is in violation of the laws of logic. So in a material world, how do you have rationality since it's based on the laws of logic, which aren't justified in a materialistic view? So you see you're having a problem here. Because what you're yeah, doing is stepping, but... you're stepping outside of the materialistic view by your divining rationality as a universal. I'm not. Yes, you are. I never did that. Wake up. Wake up. In a materialistic worldview, let's say you have two brains. And one says rationality. The other one says, what's rationality? Well, how do you know that the chemical state in brain A is the same as a chemical state in, state in brain B in understanding this term rationality? How do you know? You don't. It's just chemical reactions and necessity. You can't know if both brains are identically perceiving the concept. But wait a minute. What concept? Is it a concept constructed by brain A and that's all it is? Is it a chemically necessary construction? 
that applies then to brain B. If you say that brain A has a value and understanding that applies necessarily to, to brain B, you've left materialism. You've adopted transcendentals, Why? universals. Okay. Um, Would you know this stuff? I, like thought you, I thought you knew this kind of stuff. So if you if I if I give you two calculators and I put them in front of you, on one calculator it says two plus you put in two plus two and it says four, and the next calculator you put in two plus two equals five. Is one calculator correct and one calculator incorrect? In materialism, you wouldn't know because the material brain is only perceiving symbols and electron reactions. I'm not asking about epistemology. This is the third or fourth time I've told you that. We're not talking about that. I'm just asking you conceptually. If I give to you, <clears throat> and this is from your worldview, right? From your framework of interpretation. I present those two calculators to you. Keep in mind, both of those calculators are matter in motion. Is one correct and one incorrect? Being correct is an issue of epistemology, how you know something's right or wrong. You keep contradicting <clears throat> yourself. It's not going to matter because you know that one, it, it's either right, it is either correct or not correct, right? You keep contradicting yourself. You say it's not an issue of how? epistemology of knowing something. Well, how do you know? Under right? your worldview, you can know, right? From, we're talking materialism. I said I present it to you under your worldview, Matt. You're not a materialist, Matt. Do you not? Do I have to remind you of that? Please do. Please remind me that I'm not a materialist. Go ahead. I am now reminding you that you are not a materialist. I presented and you I'm the two calculators. I asked from your worldview, is one calculator correct and one calculator not correct? What's the answer? In my worldview, yes, it's one is correct and is not correct. Are both of the calculators matter in motion? Yes. So under your worldview, you can get correct and not correct, logical and not logical from matter in motion, correct? Yeah. Unbelievable, dude. What a joke. Well, your thinking is a joke. You can't see your own mistakes. Now you're wanting to say, oh, Tom, don't you know about this stuff? I just like headshot you with a stupid calculator analogy and you want to like posture to me? Give me a break. Uh, look, look, you need to up your game. All right. We're talking about the issue of materialism, and then you make an Ill illogical inference from that position. You then try and sidestep the issue by jumping to the problem, saying we're not talking about epistemology. Then you talk about the issue of no know knowing. You go to my worldview, I'll give you straight answers. And that's not a problem. Your worldview is the problem. I have no problem with transcendentals, with logical necessities and universals. There's no problem there. The problem lies with your worldview. And I've noticed you've tried to get away from it. Then you say, from my worldview, can you know these things? Yes. Yeah, you can. So what's the problem? Not for me. For you. Well, you gave up that easily? I think you need a wet wipe, Matt. Um, well, what I need is a rational discourse with someone who's supposed to know the issues and not pretend to know them like you do. I think your mistake in that conversation was sticking around long enough to be humiliated. Matt, you had to be, ex you had to be given like a remedial course on logical possibility, right? Really? You're in no okay. position to be, yes, you're in no position to be posturing about this stuff. Actually, I am. From my transcendental presuppositional view, I can certainly count for the necessities that undergird logical inference. You can't from your materialistic worldview. If you're a materialist, I assume you are, are you? I could ask him when a material conditional is false. I'm talking to him. Are you a materialist? No, you're not. I'm, I've already said, we, I think we're done, man. I can talk to someone else. Is it getting too too heavy for you? Too difficult? Are you Maybe materialist? Maybe someone else wants to talk to Matt. Well, we can only do yeah, one at hey. a time. Yeah, well, notice, talk to him. notice that he claims a hollow victory and then won't continue the discussion. 
Now but that Matt, I'm that's right. You lost. Sure. Why are you why are you still going? I'm waiting for him to finish the discussion. Is Sasha, do you want to talk to Matt? Of course. Okay. So that's one defeated. Who's next? You mean do you mean <laughs> one by you, Matt? Go, yes, just Matt. let just let him have it. Go ahead, Sasha. Yeah. Well, Matt, you just 